From Washington, D.C., this is the TV TV for Wednesday, November 9th, 2011. Brought to you by Original Productions, the powerhouse in reality television. Original Productions, a Fremantle media company. Visit them at OridgeProd.com. Hello, I'm Jeff Grimshaw, and we would love to say that this edition is Kim Kardashian free, but we can't. And here now to explain is our very own Susan Hibben with The Programming Pulse. No, Jeff, regrettably, this edition is laden with Kim Kardashian, and here's why. There are now reports in both the TV trades and mainstream media that point to consumer blowback regarding the thought to be Teflon Donna Kim Kardashian. And this simply means that there appears to be a wave of anger at Kim 72 because people feel they have been manipulated by her fairy tale wedding, blink of an eye marriage, and impending divorce. And will the purported Kardashian backlash go ballistic, meaning that consumption will fall off for all Kardashian reality vehicles, apparel, beauty products, and even, yes, even e-entertainment? Well, tomorrow we'll bring in our expert, master tarot reader Prudence Terrio, the two-minute TV tarot, to get a better reading on Kardashian Gate. Hey. CBS seems to have misplaced some viewers, well, actually two million viewers, courtesy of moving The Good Wife into its new Sunday night time slot. CBS has floated the notion that The Good Wife's under-delivery is due to late starts caused by late finishing football games. Not sure if I buy into that. What I do buy into is that CBS may have willingly misplaced a large chunk of guaranteed viewership by willingly displacing a franchise that wasn't broken, but now just might be. I'm Susan Hibben. My next programming Pulse Report will be available at the TVnews.tv beginning next Wednesday. Saturday, November 12th, the Turner Alumni Group Celebration happens at the Hilton Atlanta. All Turner employees, past and present, are invited to join special honored guest Ted Turner, host Bill Tush, plus all of your Turner colleagues and pals for a mega event that's been three and a half decades in the making. For information and registration, head on over to the Turner Alumni Group Celebration page on Facebook. Well... Let's see how well you know your broadcast TV viewing trends with respect to younger demos. Ready? For all of 2011, which broadcast TV network is now in the number two position, out delivering ABC, CBS, and of course NBC in the 18 to 34 demo? Well, if you guessed Univision, you would be correcto. Felicidades. I'm thinking that Gabriel Reyes We'll be exploring this new order next Monday in our exclusive Hispanic Media Report. Hey, brother, can you spare, say, uh, 800,000 viewers? <laughs> According to whispers going around the industry, that's the question being asked around the peacock. Now, this fall, NBC has shed an average of over three quarters of a million viewers. That translates to an 11% downtrend from last fall in the 18 to 49 demo. And without being propped up by ratings juggernaut Sunday Night Football, well, the Peacock, now in fourth place, would most likely be further back in fifth place behind Univision. Events and opportunities brought to you by PCE. Atlanta's only one-stop shop for lighting and grip, camera, sound stages, and expendables. Visit them at pce-atlanta.com. The Turner Alumni Celebration is just a few precious days away, and time is running out to register for what we're calling the TV Party of the Year. The Turner Alumni Reunion happens November 12th at Hilton Atlanta, and to register, head on over to this link and do it right now. If you want to talk to the real decision makers in the TV industry, then sign on as a sponsor for the TV News. And to get started, just email us at advertise at the TVnews.tv. And that about does it for this edition of the TV News. We invite you to stay close to us on Facebook, on LinkedIn, and on the Twitter. 
And here are all of those coordinates. I'm Jeff Grimshaw. Thanks for watching. And as always, go out and make it a good day.